With the world changing around us so rapidly these days, hair that hasn't been cut since November, there's one constant we can rely on, the outdoors. And after a brief hiatus from filming our travel series, we're excited to get back to business, albeit a little differently. We have face coverings, plenty of hand sanitizer, the essentials, and fewer friends along for the ride. Oh, so nice and light. We also bake some cookies for the trip, because why not make life a little sweeter when you can? Peaking with West trip, number one of the summer. We headed out on a short backpacking trip along the Salmon River, which flows about 33 and a half miles from Mount Hood to the Sandy River, which goes all the way to the Columbia. Our destination is inside the Salmon Huckleberry Wilderness, southwest of the mountain. This time, it's just me and trusted videographer and pal, Brooke Herbert. This is like a reenactment of Reese Witherspoon and Wild. <laughs> <laughs> we kept it simple and only stayed one night. But the campfire cooked salmon dinner and a hike to a sweeping viewpoint made it all worthwhile. All right. So we are headed up right now to the Mount Hood area, and we picked a spot that's pretty close to home because state officials still don't want us going all over the place uh, right now for vacations and stuff. So this is within 50 miles uh, from my house, and we're going midweek, so I'm reasonably sure it's not gonna be super busy out there. The car was gassed up before we left, and we brought everything we need with us. So we're good to go without having to stop anywhere but the trailhead and when we get back to our house. Holy crap! Yeah. <laughs> you got your whole house in here? So this hike is about 7.8 miles and about 950 feet of elevation gain. It goes along uh, the Salmon River Trail, along of course the Salmon River, and it is absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's go. The river rushes right past the trailhead. It's home to trout, steelhead, and salmon, as you'd imagine. Any luck? And travels through mossy old growth forest. We're doing a portion of the longer Salmon River Trail, which generally follows pretty gentle terrain with several steeper sections. The trail width varies, so we packed face coverings to use when passing others. We hiked a few miles before finding the perfect established campsite near the river one of several sites for backpackers along the way. We just set our bags down at a different site, down the trail. We came up here just to scope it out a little bit and found basically the perfect campsite for two people. Oh, the cookies. Gosh darn it. Cut it upside down. Take two. After we settled in the camp, we gathered wood for the fire. I'll drop off my little baby handful and then try to get some more. But finding anything dry enough to burn was a bit of a task. It's like 7.30, almost 7.30, and we're gonna try to get a fire started here. The thing is, a lot of this wood is really damp. So we've gathered and brought a couple things that hopefully will catch well but our salmon dinner is dependent on it. So it's time to get rolling. So the trick with these is to let them kind of get completely engulfed and then start slowly adding other stuff. We finally got the fire crackling and ready for cooking. Corn on the cob, salmon, and rice were on the menu. 
We cooked the rice on a backpacking stove, seasoned the salmon, wrapped everything in tin foil, and let the embers do the rest. Then it was time to dig in. First corn on the cob of the summer. Oh yeah. All right, your turn. Down with the camera. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite of salmon. Oh my. It's awesome. Usually the best camp meal I've ever had. Eating salmon on the Salmon River. Pretty happy about it. I cleaned our dishes after dinner, and we relaxed around the fire before calling it a night. We woke up early, and I got to work filtering some more water for Brooke's coffee and for our breakfast, which we'd make later. We're not really that hungry yet, so we're going to take a little day hike up to a viewpoint, come back, make some breakfast, break down camp, kind of sadly, get out of here. We left our gear at camp and did a short day hike to a viewpoint high above the river. 7.36 a.m. on a Friday morning. I think we're doing it right. Our perch was pretty spectacular, with a sea of trees stretching before us and a small waterfall far below. I'm gonna try to fit all of my catchphrases into one outro right here. Ultimately, pretty gorgeous spot. Time to roll. Rock on. When we got back, we fueled up on camp stove oatmeal with almonds and blueberries. We then packed our bags and headed to the car. Glamour shot and move. While the global pandemic has changed so much in our daily lives, it feels great to get outside and find a little respite from it all, if only for a day or two. Stay safe, everyone. Happy trails.